is Dr. Long Vo. And who is Dr. Julie Dow? I believe they're with Smile Center Dental outside of Toronto in Burlington, Ontario. We did a terrific interview with both of them for our Dental Top Doc Legends program because of the innovative work in dentistry that these folks are doing up they there. They have some groundbreaking work. And you're about to see one of the questions and answers that we asked them during our interview series. And then at the end, we have a lot more for you. So you want to stay tuned all the way to the end. Special offer coming for you. A very special offer. Stay tuned. Here's a question about baby's gums in the 2x4 Early Prevention Dental Health Program. How do I clean, which I think is, there are a number of ways that you might be able to share with us, how do I clean the baby's gums and how often do I do that? Okay, so um, uh, how do you clean the uh, baby's gum is uh, make sure your hands are clean, that's number one. We don't, we don't want to introduce uh, bacteria from our hands in, in our baby's mouth. So it never hurts if we really wash our yes, hands before yes. we do things. Yes. Uh, and uh, get, get a clean cloth and just wet it with water. Uh, at this stage, it's very important to avoid uh, toothpaste. No a toothpaste, any toothpaste yeah. because uh, the baby will swallow it. Uh, um, they're not developed enough to know how to spit at this stage, so just avoid uh, using toothpaste. Except milk when it comes back up. I'm not going there though. <laughs> I had it all down me once. Anyway, keep going yeah, here. So, cleaning, uh, yes. Yeah, so just cleaning uh, basically every surface that you see on, on, the, on the gums in their mouth. Um, and uh, just, just gentle uh, pressure and uh, make sure that it's clean and... Um, once a day? Once a day because uh, there's not much bacteria. So at, at this stage, we're simply um, introducing that the good habit. Good habit right? of doing this. Yes, and um, once a day is good because the diet is, is not, um, there's not a lot of sugar too much uh, in, in the baby's diet. So once a day is good and also it depends on when they're, they're awake, when, when they're sleeping and the, it's not as... Um, their routine is, is a little bit different from ours where we, we sleep at a certain time and we wake up a certain time. So babies yes, can, that's true. are unpredictable. So, yes, uh, are. so once, uh, once a day is good. And plus mommy is probably exhausted from, uh, from lack of sleep. So once a day is, is very, very good. And just following up on that, so Dr. Julie, I mean, at what point do you actually start? I mean, I, I know we've talked about that at two months you're, you're encouraging moms to bring the child in. But at what age are you actually starting to do this procedure of trying to, you know, help uh, take care of the gums? I mean, right away? You can or? do it right away. Okay. Right away. Um, again, it's a very non-invasive procedure. Um, the same way you, you bathe them mm -hmm. right away. Um, right. That's probably one of... So there's no, there's no reason to no, have to wait. There's no, to there's, no con there's no harm in doing it. Mm -hmm. And again, it's just for you also to make sure things are right, to make sure it's no concern. Um, sometimes they could have infection in your mouth. Um, you know, so maybe you could be born with certain condition present in the mouth as well. Um, so there's no harm in doing that, but it's just a, a good habit to take and a good routine. Um, if you forget, it's not the end of the world <laughs> either, but just picking up that routine so then later on it's a good trans transi transition mm -hmm. um, to brushing the to teeth. To when the teeth actually yes, show up, yeah. And I got to imagine, it, it, I was just thinking of this as you were saying it, but it, right off the bat gets you to have a baseline of what things look like right away so you're going to immediately recognize changes as they're happening and be able to report them to your dentist. Yes, okay. Whoa, Dr. Mark, that's a good answer there to that question. That was terrific, but that's just the beginning. We have so much more to give you here. Where do we have more to give you here? DentalSecrets101.com. DentalSecrets101.com. What do we have there? There we have a. We have the entire interview that this was just one question from, but that's just the beginning. We have the Dental Secrets 101 special report. Oh, you do want to get that. That's a Absolutely. downloadable right away. You can get all these questions and answers, some new ones, some other information. Lots of information to take care of your dental health and the dental health of your family. But you're also going to get an ongoing newsletter with great tips for your dental health and taking care of your kids. But the interview is going to be terrific because it is just lots and lots of information with two dentists. And every time we add another series of these, we add it to the same thing. So you may find there's a lot more there than you even think is there. So if you liked this question and answer, now's the time to get even more. So click on that link that's down below, Dental Secrets 101, and get all of this plus so much more.